I've been knitting a traditional Norwegian cardigan for over 15 months and it's still not finished. But hopefully by the end of this week, it's going to be completely done. Now I have never done anything like this before. Here's Miss. <laughs> If you've ever been here before, you know that my cats, they, they, they want to be on camera. Also, we have a pretty severe weather situation that is starting right now. So I honestly don't even know if we're gonna have power for much longer today because it's gonna be bad. At least that's what the weatherman says. And I get a little bit of weather anxiety. So I'm looking out the windows, watching the wind coming through. And the wind, I hear the wind, it's coming. <laughs> The last couple of weeks, I have been doing a lot of planning my crocheting and knitting projects for 2024. And one of the things that I discovered was that if I have a deadline, there is a much higher probability that I am going to finish that project. And I'm giving myself until Friday. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know how realistic or unrealistic I am being, but have you ever been at that point in a project where you're like, I don't wanna work on this anymore. I need this to be done and that's where I'm at. I want to be finished. I don't wanna see this Norwegian cardigan again until I am actually wearing it. Oh my arm. Mm. My arm gets so sore holding this tripod. I need to work out more. So let's head down to my basement craft room. I'll show you what I've already gotten done and what's left to do. Miss Olive, you have to stay up here because you don't like your brother. This has been the most challenging crocheting or knitting project that I have ever done in my entire life. And I don't really know what possessed me to who decide that I wanted to tackle something at this level, but I am really glad that I did because I have learned so much about knitting, but I've also learned a lot about myself along the way. And as we're working through this project together, and hopefully it's gonna be done by the end of the week, I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I have learned, and maybe there'll be a couple of tips in there that might help you as well. Let's go back in time to October of 20. How am I supposed to walk backwards and do this? I planned this shot out and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna walk and talk to the camera. Uh, that's gonna be kind of difficult, but let's see if I can do it. Let's go back in time to October of 2022. <laughs> this is not working. I need to sit down because otherwise I'm gonna trip, <laughs> fall and probably break my arm or something like that. Okay, we're starting over. I'm seated and this is a much safer way to do this clip in the video. So let's go back in time to October of 2022. Up until that point, I had taken two of Patricia's classes from Natography Farm. These are all online classes taught by Patricia, who is an American who has lived in Norway for decades. She actually has her own sheep farm and she produces her own wool and she is living my dream life. The first class I took from her was her stranded knitting course. This is her foundational course for those who are already knitters, but you want to learn how to do stranded color work. And for that class, we learned how to make a traditional halls, which is what we would call a cowl. And it turned out so beautiful. Then the next class that I took was her Selbu sock class and they turned out gorgeous. Now, do I ever wear them? No, because I have an issue with using or wearing anything that I have made. I know, I know it's an issue. I'm working on it. Then in early fall of 2022, Patricia announced that she was going to be teaching a kofta class, which is just Norwegian for cardigan. And I thought, I'm going to do that. And what ended up happening was I got behind. Fast forward, forward to summer of 2023, I had pretty much just given up. I thought, I'm not going to work on this anymore. I'm done. I don't even want to finish this. This is just miserable. And I don't know. Actually, I know exactly why I got interested again. There were a couple of you who asked me in the comments, how's your Norwegian cardigan going? And I thought not going well at all, but then it got me thinking, you know what? I really do want to finish that. I'm going to feel really good about myself, even though it's going to be not perfect. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be glad if I can just finish it so that I can wear it because it actually does fit me. The wind is really picking up. So <laughs> every few minutes I'm coming upstairs to kind of look outside. Oh yeah. Let me turn you around.
as you can see, we're having some issues in the basement. There's a little bit of water coming in in a little seam. So we've got a repair guy coming out. I'm not sure when he's going to get here because I am sure that a lot of people have been calling because of the amount of rain that we got today. The wind didn't end up being a big deal. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anything done on the Kofta today. It's already 4.30 in the afternoon. This is typically the time when I go cook dinner for my family. So I may come back down here later and do a little something, who knows. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Okay, here we go. It's Wednesday and the sun is shining. I could not be happier. That storm is gone. We got the basement situation handled under control. We've got a repair person coming on Friday because there was some water leaking in. Thankfully, everything is cleared out. It's fine. But last night after the crisis was averted, <laughs> I got a second wind and I ended up cutting the steak and I got the button band pinned. And then even later in the evening, I was able to add the button band, the left side, and I'm currently working on the right. I ended up making a mistake and having to rip it all back and start it over. And I'm very close to starting the actual buttonhole. So I'm making great progress already. I'm feeling pretty optimistic that by Friday, this is going to be done, but knock on wood because anything could happen between now and then, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. You can see the left button band here, and I also have the buttons marked for where they're going to go, and then that way, on the left button band, I'm able to perfectly match where those buttons are going to go and add the buttonhole here. I am so excited about how this is looking. I just finished the left button band, and no, I didn't finish the left button band. I finished, no. I didn't finish anything. <laughs> I'm at the part in the button band where I need to add the buttonholes. This is where I got tripped up the last time and I didn't have an accurate count of where they went. So I have to really focus at this point so that I don't have to rip it back out and start over. So wish me luck on this part. I do have the holes for the buttons on the button band, but if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not redoing it. They're not as evenly spaced as I thought they were going to be. I measured, remeasured last night. It is what it is. I may end up having to move the buttons to where the button holes are, and I'm just gonna be okay with that. This is just the way it's going to be if the button holes are not perfect. I'm just not worrying about it. I've decided I don't have to. I can choose to say that this doesn't bother me so much. Probably nobody is going to notice it but me, and I'm just going with it. I'm not redoing this again. I hope I don't regret this decision. <laughs> I made another mistake. I'm not happy right now. <sighs> I gotta fix it. This is the part I don't like about knitting. Crochet, you just rip it out. Knitting, you have to fix it. And I know that there are more experienced knitters than me and you can fix mistakes a lot easier, but for this gal right here, it's not an easy thing. And it also makes my blood pressure spike, I'm sure, because it just, <clears throat> I'm mad right now. I gotta fix this. See, this is what I do. I do this with knitting projects. I really don't do this with crochet projects. I catastrophize. I make a mistake in knitting and I think the entire whole project, one stitch ruined the entire project. <laughs> and I'm trying to teach myself, just calm down, let's go back, try to see where the error was, let's try to fix it. There's thousands of stitches in this kofta. One stitch is not going to ruin the entire thing. I'm trying to learn these lessons. I'm almost 50 years old. You'd think I had learned this before now, but I haven't. So <laughs> I think this is a good time. Good time to learn it. Olive is very gently reminding her mommy that she needs to go out. You're ready to go out? She's ready to go out for her walk. I have to get a coat on because it is a little bit chilly today. You ready to go out? 
It's dangerous. Don't go in there. Yeah. You come here too, Mama. You're so cute. You're so cute. It's Thursday and it's go time. I'm down here in my craft room and this is where I go when I want zero distractions. I need to focus because I will be working on the neckline. This is the last part of the project that I will actually be knitting. Once I finish this, then I can go on to those little finishing details like the buttons and the ribbon to hide the exposed button band underside. If I play my cards right, there's a good chance that I'm going to get the neckline finished today and right now I'm feeling pretty good that I'm going to be able to finish by tomorrow but we'll see it's around 3 30 4 o'clock on Thursday afternoon I have made a good amount of progress the neck band is almost done so I was thinking hey by tomorrow Friday I'll easily be able to finish because then all I need to do is add the buttons just sew them on and then add the little ribbon button band that's going to cover that raw edge on the back of the button band then I noticed this is the back side of the work all of these ends that I have to weave in. They're on both sides, but I have a lot to do. So now I'm feeling less confident. That means I need to get these woven in by tonight. They have to be done. If I want to stay with my deadline, which I do, I know that this is only self-imposed, but it really does mean something to me to be able to hold myself accountable and promise myself that I will do something and then actually get it done. I was riding that high, I was feeling so good, and then saw the back of it and went, no! I'm gonna try with everything I have to get this done by tomorrow. It's Friday morning, and I can't believe I'm at this point, but last night, what I didn't think was going to be possible was weaving in all the ends. There were a ton, but I got it done. I am thrilled. I got it completely done. I did not think that that was possible. So today, what I have to do is get those buttons added and then I'm going to use the ribbon and you cover this raw edge right here where we picked up the button band. And I know that that is going to take time. It is tedious, tiny little stitches that I'm going to be hand sewing to both sides of the inside of the button band. This is going to be tough to get it all done. But if I have to, I know that I can finish this tomorrow at the very latest. So I'm just gonna get to work and see what I can get done. I am so excited about this. I'm gonna show you what time it is. Can you see that? It's 11.16 at night. I'm exhausted. I've literally been working on the kofta for hours today. The problem is I attached it and then I had to unattach it because I looked on the opposite side here and noticed that it was pulling. So I was having to play around with the technique and figure out like how to do this. How am I supposed to hand sew this on here without pulling any of the stitches on the front side. It's not gonna be done today. That's okay. I think I can finish it tomorrow. And if I can't finish it tomorrow because I have a life, I have to do other things, then just make this kofta. If I can't finish it by tomorrow, I truly believe that by Sunday, I can get it done. So instead of four days, five days, possibly six days. I'm not giving up. It's just not gonna be done tonight because I'm too tired and there's no way I could get this done in 45 minutes, even if I wanted to. Good morning, it's Saturday. Last night I was feeling pretty down about not finishing the kofta in my four day goal, but that's okay. It's okay. I have a lot to do. I really, really, really need to take down these Christmas decorations, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting this kofta done. If I have to sit in my chair for the rest of this day and get it done, it's getting done. I'm not keeping this into Sunday. I, I mentally need to be done. So I'm just gonna enjoy this time and I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work until it's done. Miss Olive was a little boy. Yeah, we were gonna name you Oliver. Can you see how much gray I have in my 
hair. Oh my goodness. Anyway, the ribbon on the button bands is finally done. This felt like the longest part of the entire project. I know that's not actually the case, but the fact that it was such a huge learning curve for me, I had to learn how to add this on. Now the stitching is not the problem. It's, it's super simple, but the problem is, is that it was pulling on the other side of the work and I had to take it out so many times. Oh my goodness, it felt like forever. But the inside of the cardigan looks beautiful. Now, before I add the buttons, Patricia, who is the lady teaching the course, recommended wearing the kofta around for a little while to let it settle before you add the buttons. Because if you add the buttons before that, there can be problems. So I am going to wear this around for a little bit today. And thankfully, it's pretty chilly outside, so this is gonna feel nice and warm. finished it. I didn't finish it until last night. So last night was Saturday night, which means it did take me five days to finish it, but I don't care. I feel so good that I was able to finish it. Oh, I feel so good about it. I even wore it to the grocery store today. What I love most is that it fits me like a glove because I made it to fit me. The sleeve length, the length of the cardigan, everything about it fits me perfectly and I am just so thrilled. Thank you for coming along this week and being my buddy while I'm trying to finish up the kofta. I hope that this inspired you to pick up your crochet hook or your knitting needles and make something magical today. There's a cat making all kinds of racket behind me. <laughs> Stay safe and happy stitching.